Hey guys, what's going on? Today, Apple just released iOS 12.2 Developer Beta 2. So in this video, let's go ahead and take a look at what's new. So this is actually a pretty significant update for a Beta 2 release. I was actually upgrading this phone from iOS 12.1.3, so I don't know the update size. I had to reinstall the entire uh, three gigabyte file on my phone. Uh, from other uh, sources though, I think the update was about uh, 300 megabytes if you upgraded from Beta 1. So that is a pretty substantial update size uh, for just a Beta 2. So in this video, let's go ahead and take a look at what is new. First, go ahead and take a look at the build numbers. You can see there it still does end in a letter, just so you do know you are running a beta still. You can see there iOS 12.2. So let's take a look at one of the first most exciting changes. We actually have some new Animojis this time. So if I go here into Animoji and swipe up, the first one is a giraffe, which is kind of cool. And uh, it looks really detailed and my face is kind of blocked here by the camera. If I turn my phone here, uh, you can see it as I, uh, as I talk here. We also have a shark. We have an owl, which I think is really cute. And we also have a warthog, which is uh, just a little bit creepy and very similar uh, to the pig and emoji here, as you can see. So uh, four new emojis. This is kind of cool when you upgrade to iOS 12.2. Uh, on your iPhone 10 or newer, you will be getting four new add emojis. This is kind of cool. It's kind of a gimmicky feature in my opinion, and it uses up a lot of battery. But if you like using these fun characters when you send iMessages to people, I guess that is a, a good new addition. But that's pretty much the most exciting change. Now everything else we look at today is going to be more minimal. So another change or kind of a glitch is on the lock screen, it no longer shows the date. It shows your battery percentage. I think they might have done this for iPhone 10 devices because on the top right, you cannot see your battery percentage. You actually have to swipe down into control center to see that there. So I don't know if this is a glitch because I do know when you plug in your phone, older operating systems would still show the battery life underneath the time, but then it would fade out and show the date. But now it just stays there and it shows the battery percentage. So I don't know if I like this because I kind of am used to seeing the date underneath the time. You guys can tell me though in the comments if you like this change. It still might be a bug though, so I guess we'll have to wait until the next beta of iOS 12.2. Another change is Apple really is doing a lot of tweaking uh, with the AirPlay icon and some animations. So the first thing there is this little glyph here on the music uh, pane has changed into a more detailed AirPlay icon. So now in iOS 12.2, we have two changed icons in Control Center. First one is screen mirroring, and the newest one in Beta 2 today is the new AirPlay icon on the top right of the music pane. I think there's a little bit of a design issue here because it doesn't look like it's positioned properly. It looks like it's way too far up in the uh, on the top right of the pane. But if we go ahead and 3D touch on it, you can see there it gets a little bit brighter. And if we tap on it, we can see all of our devices as we usually can. But there is a brand new animation actually if we jump into music when we press on it. So if I press on it like this, you can see it kind of slides in from the front, whereas on iOS 12.2 beta one and before, it would just kind of pop up. So now you can see there it kind of fills the entire screen and it's even more intense when it goes away. So guys, that is iOS 12.2 beta two. There are a few tiny little tweaks here and there, but those are just the major ones that I wanted to show you guys. If you have any uh, thing you'd like to say about this release, if it's running uh, smooth or if it's running terribly on your device, tell me down below and I'll try to respond and help you guys out. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. My name is Michael with Apple Informed and I'll see you in the next video.